Hello. <coughs> this presentation is about collaborative learning skills. And uh, in this presentation I introduce one empirical study which we have conducted within our LET master's degree program. As a background um, information it can be said that that uh, collaborative learning might be effective way to learn and to study, but in practice it's also really challenging. And uh, <clears throat> one reason which cause, causes the failure or the challenges in collaborative learning is the lack of sufficient studying skills. It's also highlighted when we are talking about 21st century learning skills that, that these uh, collabor collaborative learning skills or collaboration skills in general are uh, important and essential in studying life, in working life and in our daily life in, in general. So in, in this uh, empirical study uh, which I'm going to present in more details now. Uh, we asked our LET master degree program students to reflect their experiences of collaborative learning and skills they need to uh, successfully participate in collaborative learning. Uh, they wrote learning diaries regularly for two years during the whole uh, master's program and uh, they wrote wrote these diaries in in their personal blogs and and uh, after after the two years period we analyzed those learning diaries from that perspective that how the students described the skills they needed in collaborative learning situations and also that how they experienced that these skills developed during the two years education. So uh, what were the, the skills that students felt and experienced they needed in order to be able to work and study successfully in different collaborative learning situations? And it was quite obvious that, that um, they described how they needed uh, self-regulation skills, coordination skills, communication skills, and also theoretical knowledge about collaborative learning and success factors related to collaborative learning. Uh, <coughs> related to self-regulation skills, especially they described how they needed skills for motivation regulation and emotion regulation. And uh, here are some sentences uh, from the learning diaries. For example, one student described that uh, related to motivation regulation that in addition, maintain a positive motivation and emotion is also the major point throughout the collaborative process. Also, the students described how emo emotion regulation is really important in collaborative learning situations. And one student uh, described that, that I think there can be many situations in any collaborative group when one feels frustrated, confused or feel that things are not fair. Then it is very important to stay calm, patient and motivated. Concentrate on the goals and find an effective way to solve the problem and proceed with the task. Uh, students also described how uh, the skill of coordinate one's own activity in collaboration is really important. Uh, 
one student wrote in, in, in his diary that now that I have more awareness and control on my own actions and learning process, I find it easier both collaborating in the group than solo working. Also, they described how uh, skill to coordinate and participate in coordination of group joint activities is important in successful collaborative learning. And this is again from, from one learning diary. In the collaborative process, the participants need to work together to discuss task analysis, goal setting, plan making and so on. Uh, about the communication skills, it was the most uh, uh, often mentioned skill was the skill to of listening to to each others, what the others are saying, and really trying to understand what the other students were were meaning and expressing. So one student wrote that I truly believe that the most important thing in collaboration is not only express one's own point of view and participate in group activities, but the ability to listen uh, the opinion of other students. Also, one important skill is the skill of giving and receiving feedback from other, other students and uh, be able to give constructive feedback uh, about the joint product and the, the collaborative process and the group progress. Uh, one student wrote that it is important to analyze and suggest ways of development of products of our group mates. Also, the argumentation skills was, uh, were mentioned as important skills in collaborative learning. Uh, so students felt that they need to the skills how to make sound arguments and counter arguments and so on. And this is ag again from one student's learning diary. It is very nice to hear, compare and compile different opinions and point of view. Views. At the end result, we create a product that could not be created any anybody of participant of that group alone. This this was uh, also quite nice result, especially in the context of our master's degree program. That that students described how they needed. Uh, also theoretical knowledge about collaborative learning in order to be able to to act um, productively in collaborative learning situations. One student wrote that triggering successful reasoning during teamwork is challenging and my knowledge about collaborative learning has helped me in this sense. Uh, so those were the skills that students uh, described in their learning diaries uh, when they were talking about skills they needed in practice when they participated in our studies in different kind of collaborative learning and group work situations. But they also were asked to, to describe the progress that how did they collaborative learning skills developed during two years education in our LED program. So these were the most generally mentioned uh, 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 skills which the students perceived that developed during the studies. Ability to act in group, communication skills, listening skills and skills to apply theoretical knowledge into studying practices. First, uh, they, they found out that, that when they part, the more they participated in different group work situations, the more they got abilities to, to work productively in, in different groups. And this is from, uh, again, from one student's learning diary. 
What I noticed in myself in working in groups is that I had a tendency to be kind of bossy, telling people what they should do and trying to bring solutions to the tasks or problems to group, the group had. Lately though, I have been working on waiting uh, for people to give ideas and solutions before I start speaking and giving my own opinions. Sometimes it is difficult to me. Firstly, if I am excited about the task we should do. In this process of giving people room, I have also started to accept better when people do not like my ideas or plans for the group. It was not that easy for me at the first, but I have been practicing it and it has been enriching. Also the student experience that when they have many chances to practice their collaborative learning skills, they also at the same time developed the way how they communicated in these situations. So one student, student uh, wrote that I have learned how to communicate with people with different backgrounds, not being scared to present my point of views. Also, while they highlighted that, that these listening skills are really essential for collaborative learning, they also uh, thought that, that they have become better listeners during these two years of uh, studying in LET program. So one, one student uh, said that or wrote that I think I have become a better listener and it got easier for me to understand what other people mean. Collaborative learning helped me look at things with other people's eyes, which always makes it easier to solve complex situations. And also, uh, the, they thought, the students thought that while they knowledge, theoretical knowledge about success factors and the process of collaborative learning increased, they got more skills uh, while they understood the phenomena better, they were better able to participate in group work situation. So one student said that I was better able to apply the theoretical knowledge in a concrete way. So this was uh, this case study was one like authentic authentic examples that what these collaborative learning skills can be in practice. And uh, <clears throat> these results are in line with, with other studies also by emphasizing the role of communication and, so, and social regulation skills in collaborative learning situations. There are studies about like interpersonal skills in collaborative learning or the social intelligence which refers to the same, same topic and emphasizes this co the importance of communication and, and regulation skills. But <coughs> compared to the results of the earlier studies, uh, in, in our study the role of theoretical knowledge uh, was highlighted more and that is also important to that uh, when you understand the, what collaborative learning is about and what factors promotes and hinders it, you are more aware that how you actually should act and what skills you should develop in these collaborative learning situations. So this was one insight and one perspective into the collaborative learning skills and we will continue this uh, with this topic via reading further articles and continuing the discussion also in our face-to-face -face meetings. Thank you.